Hello guys and girls, in this tutorial you will learn how to use local storage and session storage in React.js to store data in your application without the need of using a database. To get started you will need a new version of Node.js and npm. We will create a new project by using the npx create react app command and let's name this project local storage. So by using local storage and session storage to save data in your application you can save about 5 to 10 megabits of data depending on the browser and if you are on a mobile or using a PC. So this is perfect for, for example, a simple to-do application. Now when the project is finished installing, cd into the newly created project and type npm start to start the project. And the project will open your browser and start on port 3000. So let's go ahead and open up the project in your preferred text editor and open up app.js. I'm going to change the invention here to tab width 4 and I'm also going to change the syntax to Babel. You can also go ahead and remove the logo and app.css because we won't be needing them. You can remo remove all the code between the div with the class name of app. And I'm just going to go ahead and indent the code here a little bit to make it easier to read. And we're going to change this to a class-based component, so let's name it class app and it extends react.component. Now since we changed this to a class-based component, we're also going to need a render method to render some uh, data to the DOM. Go ahead and open up your browser and right-click and choose inspect and console. We're going to need this for debugging the application. So now let's create uh, two simple buttons. We're going to use one button to set some data and we're going to use one button to get the data that we're setting. Now you don't need to use buttons for this, of course, you can do it in multiple ways, but this makes it for a more simple example. And go ahead and copy the first button and we're going to use the same kind of button to get the data. So when that's done we can go ahead and find the actual methods, set data and get data. So it's exactly as it sounds, we're going to use the set data function or method to set some data for local storage and then get the data to display the data from local storage. So by using local storage, you simply just have to type local storage dot set item. Then you're gonna give it a property. You can call this item my data. And just to start off, let's try by saving a simple boolean, set it to true. And to get the data, we're gonna save the data in a variable to make it easier to use. And you just have to use local storage dot get item to get the data. So it's super simple to use and very efficient. Now let's just try to console console.log the data and we should be getting through the boolean we're setting. So click set data and then get data. And as you can see, we're getting the boolean true. Now you can also save other things like strings or objects. We're gonna try this, but let's start with setting a simple string, some value here. And we're getting the data, and you can see we're getting the string, some value here. Now you can also save objects in local storage. You cannot save an object as is. You need to use JSON to actually stringify it and then parse it. But let's create a simple object. We can give it a few properties like name, age, and email. and then save the object, then we're gonna use JSON and we're gonna stringify the actual object before actually saving it. Now to retrieve the data, we're gonna use the data variable that we're using to store the data and we're gonna use parse on it. So we're gonna parse the object we have stringified. So now if we're setting the data, then getting the data, you can see we're getting back the entire object we just saved in local storage, right? And we can also, of course, access the different properties. So 
So that's how we save data with local storage, super simple. Now we can also use something called session storage. The difference between these is that the local storage, the data persists if the user closes the application. With session storage, the data is deleted and no longer accessible if the user closes the application, all right? So the data is only available for the current session. Now you're using the same exact setters and getters for session storage. Yes, yeah, change local storage to session storage. And we can call this my session storage data. And set the data and then get the data. So this data right there would actually be removed if we use session storage to save and get the data. So that's how you use local storage and session storage in React.js to save data.